Now there's a controversy because uh, subsequent to our paper, um, a group from uh, Taiwan published that Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola were not spermicidal. And I think the uh, difference is in the methodologies. In our study, as I explained before, we used more Coke than semen. In their study, they went the other way around. They added tiny amounts of Coke to semen as a toxicologist would do. And uh, they used a slightly different um, endpoint, but they were similar. So I um, asked a trained andrologist from Harvard Medical School, Joe Polich, who's in the audience today, to, um, to repeat this study. And these are his data, independent research. Um, at a semen coke ratio of one to five, as we did in our paper, after one minute, the motility was zero. And this was true for both uh, classic coke and diet coke. Um, at a ratio of one to one, the motility was about 50%. And at five to one, the ratio that the uh, Taiwanese group used, um, there was little effect. So that explains the controversy. It's not a potent spermicide, but it works um, if you use it in uh, douche uh, concentrations. <laughs> These things probably um, are somewhat effective, but we don't recommend them for birth control. For one reason, sperm swim really fast, um, 18 centimeters an hour, so a well-placed sperm could make it into the cervical canal, into the mucus. I was just going to ask if the uh, Coca-Cola marketing company has contacted you in any ways to use this research. They're really pissed at us. <laughs> and, and of course, Dr. Francis Fesmeyer, uh, perhaps you have the final word. I was just going to make a suggestion for future studies. If you add Mentos, it'll probably outrace the sperm. <laughs>